How did a 16 year old paper boy own a baseball card that today could sell for over $10 million? So back in 1914, when Babe Ruth was 19 years old, he started his pro baseball career playing for his hometown Baltimore Orioles in the International League. For that season, the Baltimore News made cards of the team's players and put their schedule on the back for fans to track their games. However, what nobody realized was that one of these would become the rookie card of baseball's greatest legend. Today, only 10 copies in total of the Babe Ruth Baltimore News rookie card are known to exist. Compare that to the T206 Honus Wagner, which there's roughly 60 copies of. Over the last decade, 22 copies of the Wagner have sold. But we haven't seen any of the 10 Babes become available publicly. Until now. This one right here was acquired by a Baltimore newspaper boy back in 1914 when the card came out. And it was then passed down through his family for over 100 years. It's graded in SGC3, and we haven't seen a copy in this high of a grade sell in over 15 years. Currently, this $12.6 million Mickey Mantle holds the record for being the most expensive baseball card. But that may change very soon, because this SGC3 is being sold by our partner Robert Edward Auctions in the company's fall catalog auction. It just opened up and bidding has already surpassed $6 million. The auction closes on December 3rd and drop a follow to stay updated.